Hello and welcome to We the Students, a political discussion sponsored by Nauset Regional High School's AP U.S. Government and Politics program in collaboration with Nauset's video production class. During the next 30 minutes, our panel made up of 10th, 11th, and 12th grade Nauset students will discuss the issue of whether or not teachers should be allowed to carry concealed weapons while on duty in our nation's schools. I am your guest host, Tyler Cremens, a senior here at Nauset and a veteran of the AP government class. Just for the record, opinions expressed here belong to the panelists and are not the views of Nauset Regional High School or the Nauset Regional School District. At the bottom of your screen, you'll see a special email address for our panel today. Please feel free to email us your thoughts and suggestions about today's topic. So we can continue this discussion in our government classroom. Now let's meet our panel. Uh, on the right, we have Caroline Sullivan, Trevor Good, and Brian Brooks. And on the left, we have Kaya Howard, Aiden, and Madikit Nobly. And uh, so I'm going to start off this discussion here. Um, how would you feel as a student knowing that your teacher has a gun in the classroom? Do you want to take this one? No, you got it. All right, well, Our side. Our side? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, for a teacher to have a gun, I feel like I would feel more safe, you know, knowing that they have a firearm. So if anybody, in case there's a school shootings, which have more than quadrupled in the past three years from past times, um, that way we have a more uh, attack, I guess, more not aggressive, but we have a better form of defense to uh, stop the school shootings like those from happening. And in your book? Um, oh, sorry. I know that I personally would not feel very safe if I knew that my teacher had a gun, especially because I know that teachers aren't really supposed to like be responsible for securing us and defending us. They're supposed to be educating us. And they may not be trained properly, and they may not like know how to handle a gun. Well, you, Brian, you brought up a very interesting subject here with the recent school shootings. Um, does violence like that justify a teacher having a gun in the classroom? And off of your uh, comments, um, the security, what is the responsibility of a teacher to secure their students? Um, do they have a responsibility if someone to come in to protect their students, or is their job merely just to ed educate? Well, since Sandy Hook, there's been at least 168 shootings, so I feel like it's the responsibility of the teachers to keep the students protected and make sure they're safe at school. Personally, um, going off of your earlier question, I feel that I would feel unsafe in a classroom environment that had guns in it. And some may argue that it is a teacher's right to carry a gun, but it's also a student's right to feel s that they are in a safe and um, secure learning environment. And I know that with all the dangers that come with carrying a, a firearm in a classroom, I know that I wouldn't feel comfortable with having a weapon on. So know? what are some of the practicalities that may come from a teacher carrying a gun with them? What are some of the benefits or some of the cons there? Well, definitely protection. You know, if there is a shooting or, or Brian, you have any? Like, yeah, well, often um, the first responders on the scene were the ones who subdue the attacker or stop the attacker. And the first responders normally are the police, but in most school cases, the police are far away. And uh, one case, Harold School District in Texas, the police responders are 30 minutes away from their uh, location. So a gun would be their first responder. Therefore, they can uh, subdue the attacker immediately, therefore slowing down uh, the attacker and limiting their uh, damage to the school. Um, that may be true, but. I know that school resource officers are, have tremendous potential to be defenders of schools. Officer Diana Back here at the high school, she's had 10 years of experience with the police department. She has good training. She knows how to properly use a firearm. And I would feel much safer if schools, instead of implementing um, concealed carry laws, instead if they had more school resource officers on the campus to actively protect students as their full-time job. To add to Maddie, there's a lot of safer um, ways besides guns to protect kids. You could have strict hall access rules. You could have automatic locks on doors that could close when there was a situation. You could have additional lockdowns and emergency drills. So guns aren't necessarily the best option. <coughs> in, oh, well, like in the Sandy Hook shooting, they had automatic locks on the door, but the gun person just shot the lock and unlocked the door himself. 
And then like many lockdown drills are not safe because you're just teaching the children to hide and not go anywhere. And if a gunman goes into a room, like the kids aren't, they're just going to be sitting there ready for the gunman to shoot them. There actually, there is a great potential though for school, instead of implementing more rules with concealed carry weapons and allowing teachers to carry guns, we could in invest our time in developing better safety procedures and better safer lockdown spaces, perhaps different procedures that would somehow. So, uh, Maddie, would you uh, elaborate on that a little bit more? What would some of these security procedures might look like? What are some of the policies behind this? <coughs> well, I know, I don't know much about the actual policies because there hasn't been much done in recent years to develop things like, I, I don't want to propose anything too extreme, but like if you had a s certain safety, almost like a closet or like a bunker or somewhere you could hide. But I know at one of the past schools I went to, they changed the lockdown procedure from hiding in the corners to actually evacuating the school, which could bring about some dangers if the potential shooters weren't withheld and subdued. But if students could instead manage to leave the area and SROs or police officers could subdue the shooter, then it would be better to have students out of the area. So I know you said that you would feel uncomfortable with a teacher having a gun in the classroom, and uh, this has been voiced. Um, but how would you feel having uh, almost a more militarized student, uh, a school with more officers around who are carrying weapons? Do you think that that would have the same effect, or would it be different? The problem with that, I think, um, going back to where Maddie said uh, supplying more SRO officers, like you said, militarizing it almost, um, that whole effect, a lot of schools can't afford that type of stuff where they um, they upgrade everything where, as in uh, the old defense, and along with the old defense tactics where they would do uh, lockdowns and everything. Um, back in 1999 with the Columbine school shooting, kids hid in the library and the gunmen walked in and they were hidden, but the gunmen found them and killed all of the kids and the teachers inside. And um, also with Alice training, which is for uh, children to throw everything that they can at the attackers that walk through the door. Uh, both um, those uh, defense tactics were proven unworthy because both times, both uh, both ways have been proven with school shootings and other attacks on schools. So, this is also a topic about like the teachers' safety too. So, they also have the constitutional right to carry a weapon. So, I feel like it should be they should be allowed to. If they feel safe carrying a weapon. I feel like they should be able to. Exactly, but there is potential danger in carrying concealed firearms. In, at Idaho State University recently, there was a teacher whose um, concealed handgun actually discharged in the classroom during a class, and no one was hurt except for the teacher who had to have his foot operated on because of the bullet. But if it had discharged and hit a student, there would have been very big consequences and a lot of controversy. So there's lots of dangers involved with carrying a firearm of any kind in the classroom. Well, you bring up the constitutional argument, and um, that, that's very interesting because that could also apply to an, any 18-year-old um, legally can possess a weapon. So how do you think that uh, argument could work on college campuses where almost every student would then be legal to carry a weapon, high, high school seniors for the most part? What kind of policies would the school put in place if they're just going to allow concealed carry? Um, I think that if teachers want to carry, they should be allowed to. I feel like a student's place in the classroom is to learn and they shouldn't be worrying about maybe potential shooters or potential accidents that could occur. I feel like it should be the teacher's job to protect the students because a, a school is a safe place just like the home. So they feel safe there. So they should be able to protect it. Well, to um, go off of Trevor, the teacher <laughs> is supposed to be able to teach the students without having the distraction of worrying about defending the students. So I think that would take away from the education. Again, the classroom is supposed to be a safe learning environment and kids shouldn't worry about having to go to school unsure if there's going to be an attack and feeling intimidated by the fact that their teacher has a gun. There is a parent in Utah um, where there's lots of gun legislation in the works and the parent said, I don't want that teacher to have an accident with their firearm while my student is in their class. And again, there is a lot of potential for students to be injured by discharging firearms. Mm -hmm. More so than, it's, mo it's probably more likely that 
the student would have an accident with the teacher's concealed firearm than they would with a school shooter. I think that the children should feel more safe in a classroom if the teacher had a gun because there's always the possibility of there being an attack at the school and it's going to be the teacher's first instinct to protect the kids and it'll just make it a lot easier for the teacher to protect them with a the gun rather than just standing there waiting with them. That actually though it brings up the issue of judgment choices. Not many teachers, although this is hard to argue, but it's, there's the potential that some teachers would have poor judgment and if you hesitate to pull the trigger it could mean the difference between life and death. So. Did you also, guys carry um, I think that as long as there is a gun in the classroom, there's always a potential threat. And even if there isn't always, I mean, there, it's very rare that there's going to be someone who's going to come in and shoot people. I think that as long as a teacher has a gun, there's always that danger that someone, something could go wrong with that gun. Well, this brings up the idea that teachers aren't forced to have guns in the school. They may be required to have intensive background checks if they if they want to have a uh, gun in school, and they also should require permits to carry arms. And with the idea that they will not know poor judgment and everything, they'll go under they'll undergo serious training with firearms before being put into use. So it may be a year long thing before it's already thrown into the school. So that brings up an interesting question: What kind of policies would it look like if we were to allow <laughs> teachers to have guns? What kind of training would they go through? Uh, what kind of arms would they be allowed to carry? Could they carry anything? I think this would be more of a personal issue because it is obviously their choice because it is a concealed firearm. So I feel like the students wouldn't know who has the firearm and they would also have to go through rigorous training to be allowed to carry such a dangerous weapon in such a safe zone. I think that the guns would be limited to handguns mostly and you obviously would need a permit for it with the training and background checks too. With this idea they also have to be concealed in this case for carry, concealed carry weapons um, so handguns would be probably most suitable for this area unless uh, they can I guess afford another type of gun. So uh, I guess my biggest question just watching this debate so far is if it's not a mandate how does that ensure the safety of the students going along with your argument and what other policies could be put in place to ensure these safeties? I think the most important one would be, like Maddie said, the school resource officer. Um, there was a poll done of more than 10,000 teachers, and 87% of the teachers wanted an armed police officer and thought that was a good idea. So I think that would be a very suitable But idea. like Brian said, not all school districts can afford to hire school resource officers. Also, school resource officers can't be there on the spot, like, say, in this building, B building. Uh, if Officer Back's in end building, I'll take her about maybe two or three minutes to get here, depending on how it is. And if, let's say, um, a teacher here had a gun, she, they could stop the uh, <coughs> attacker. Again, though, does that mean that you would mandate that all teachers should carry a concealed weapon? Because I know that some teachers might not feel comfortable with going through the training and carrying a firearm on them. But if you didn't have them carrying a firearm, then how could you assure that all classrooms would be safe? That's why I said if, because in any case, there's obvious there should be at least one teacher in each building or uh, on campus or in the area with a weapon. It's their choice anyway, but um, most t some teachers will choose to have guns, and therefore they will protect that area. Or okay. Um, I guess another issue that would come up with this is how do we handle any accidents that may happen in the classroom? Madikit, you brought up the incident at Iowa State, I believe, right? Or Idaho. Yeah. Um, and in the instance of having uh, some kind of adversary in the room and the teacher firing back at this person, um, how do they not accidentally injure someone else, injure themselves? What is the reaction like? Um, and how do we handle the safety in the classroom of having a gun there in the first place? What kind of measures are in place? Well, it will definitely be concealed, so no student would really know which teacher has the concealed firearm, but it would always, always be a possibility for a teacher to have one. So I feel like that would cut down the accidents because it would only be taken out in like very serious circumstances. So Well, that doesn't necessarily solve the issue. You saw the example that Matt had brought up earlier and the gun still discharged. And also, I just wanted to point out, when you say serious circumstances, where do you draw the line about drawing a firearm? Is an aggressive student maybe <laughs> warrant 
a gun, or is it only school shooters? I feel like if it is life-threatening, that if someone's life is in danger, that the student is not feeling safe, like if they feel life-threatened, that that teacher is responsible to take control of the situation. Again, with the judgment issue, if the teacher feels uncomfortable in a situation, people different have different comfort levels. And if a teacher feels uncomfortable in a situation, how would they determine whether or not they should pull the gun? This is for the training idea, where they would go into serious training, like as in uh, cops these days or police officers, they would take precautions, they would make sure the option is reasonable, and they would uh, only take action if necessary. And even with police officers, if like teachers go through the same training as police officers, maybe not as like extreme as them, but there's still always the chance of even a police officer having an accident with their gun going off. Like it's not it's limited to just teachers having accidents with true. guns. But as a police officer and or a school resource officer, it would be their full time job to guard the students, so they would likely have their focus would be on defending the students instead of teaching and attempting to defend at the same time. I'm just going to pause this for one quick second. Uh, just a quick update. You're watching We the Students, a public affairs political discussion of the AP government students at Nauset Regional High School. <coughs> at the bottom of your screen is a special email address for our panel. Please feel free to email us your thoughts and suggestions about today's topic so we can continue this discussion in our government classroom. Um, I want to get back to the idea of an accident happening. Um, I kind of threw that out there and it was never really poked at. How would we handle that? How do you secure the gun to make sure nothing actually happens. I, I heard you saying it would be concealed, but how does that guarantee safety? Well, all safety precautions would be uh, in action at this point. Every gun normally has a safety, therefore it would probably be put on. Um, it would be in a holster in a safe place, concealed away from any other people getting at, to it, at it. So the, uh, the teachers uh, with the weapon would be the only ones knowing about the weapon. Therefore, um, it would be in a safe place and away from everything. Uh, and unaffected unless needed. In order though to use a weapon in a potential situation there has to be split-second access so it would be <coughs> illogical to put, to put too much restriction on the firearm like too much because you have to be able to access it so there's no guarantee that a student couldn't access it if they had the chance. Well, well it definitely will there definitely will be some accidents occurring when this policy is in place, but there was also going to be positives. So lives will be saved and lives will be lost, but the outcome at the end will obviously be positive. And if the teacher is concealing it on their body, which is like what they would do for <coughs> split second reactions, it's possible that a child could get the gun off of a teacher's body, but it's not that likely unless the child like attacked the also, teacher. Also, the students aren't told which teachers have the guns, so they're unknowing and they would have no idea which teacher has a gun, which doesn't, and um, who to go to for help. Well, who to go to for help, I guess, but um, in any case, there would always be a responder. I feel as though, as a student, I would like to know which teachers, and I know parents, or I think, I'm pretty sure parents would like to know whether or not their child's in an environment with a gun. I know I'd be uncomfortable not knowing. And also, I know you brought up the point that it wouldn't be very likely that a student would be able to get access to it, but I don't think it should be at all likely. I think it should be impossible that a student could access a gun from a teacher because any way that they could access it, even if the chances are very slim, there could always be a mistake. Well, I mean, even if you want school resource officers to be the only ones with guns on campus, it's still the same as a child, like a, there's still a possibility that a child could get a gun off of a student resource officer. But their entire job is to guard that gun and to make sure that they know where their own gun is and how they can access it and to keep the gun away from other That's kids. That's the same way that the, this would work with the teachers. The teachers have concealed them away from everybody else and the student resource officer has it on the hip. The teacher would have it somewhere else on their body away from the student's hands. And but while the teacher is teaching, they wouldn't really be focused on the gun. They'd be focused on well, that's only if an incident comes up. Uh, if, say, a life-threatening incident comes up, that's the only time that they'll need it, and that's the only time that they'll go to it, and that's when they'll know when to go, and they'll put it in a safe place where they can access it as quick as possible. Unless the kid somehow gets it. Which 
in this case, there would be safety precautions where the kid would be hidden. No, they, the kids have no idea that which teacher has a gun, so they wouldn't go attacking each teacher just to find one gun. But like, let's say a kindergarten teacher bends down to tie a kid's shoe, and like their shirt comes up a little bit, and then you can see a gun, and some kid goes over and grabs it. I think the teacher would notice, but um, uh, uh, I think that's highly unlikely because they'd have everything concealed in the way, and also. Um, if, in most cases, the concealed weapon would make sure that even if that anything like that happened, like a shirt removal or anything, would also so have it concealed. Also, dealing with uh, such a dangerous weapon, I think they would be they would take sincere con like con like um, they would protect the weapon and make sure it didn't get into the wrong hands. Well, I want to go back to Madika's point because she brings up a very interesting um, idea about whether the students are actually knowledgeable if your teacher has a gun. Um, I know as a student, um, and I know my parents would as well, want to know what kind of teacher has that lethal force with them. Um, and I'm, I'm just wondering how you think a policy would work where the students don't know or aren't aware um, how that would work with a school system um, and if that would be realistic. There, there's always public records. If you like, you can, there's some, there's a school. I have the article here. I just don't know where it is. But there's a school, and it has, if you request for the public record of the gun, you're able to get it. I think it's in Texas, maybe. Obviously, it's not mandated to show who has, like, <coughs> it's obviously not mandated for a teacher to carry a weapon because it is concealed. So I bet they, there is always public records they can check to has, who has a gun, but I feel like it would be the safest to know, to not know who has the weapon to cut down like such accidents like we were just talking about with a kid attempting to get the firearm. I just wanted to bring up a point that we haven't really talked about yet. There's alarming, er, a lot of evidence that teachers actually don't want, many teachers might, but the majority of teachers don't want to carry concealed weapons. Recently in Texas there was a law passed that takes effect in August that allows both private and public universities to enforce concealed carry and 20 universities so far have said they will not lift their ban on guns and these are big colleges where there's lots of potential danger and teachers and principals and superintendents have said they do not want to implement concealed carry. This is yeah. why it's not forced for teachers to carry the weapons but it's we for their security so if they feel safest carrying concealed firearm I feel like they should be should have the right to carry that firearm if they want to. To, add, oh, to add to what Maddie was saying, um, Sandy Hook teachers who survived the incident simply don't want guns. Um, 37 Sandy Hook teachers have formed the Sandy Hook School Educators for Gun Sense program, which is dedicated to researching gun violence prevention. So clearly they wouldn't want to carry guns to protect themselves in a um, school shooting. So you guys.